Welcome to Elohim I May podcast. So this podcast episode is also available in my Read Bible with Me YouTube channel. So to all my YouTube viewers, hey, how are you all? Welcome to a podcast episode with me. I am here doing a podcast episode by side in my Elohim I May podcast, which is currently available in Spotify. So maybe slowly it will come over to you. Google and Apple podcast and many other platforms as well. Let's pray on those regards. So you can follow me there. I will link those in the description box for you and you can listen to even more of Christian inspirations through audio and Bible thoughts, my testimonies and many more. Okay, so let's begin our episode. Okay, so if you have Bible, you can turn with me or just listen. So, book of Psalms, chapter 1, verse 2. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Okay, before going further, let's do a small prayer. Oh dear Father Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for the thank you for this morning to share a Christian inspirational thoughts with everyone. Thank you for giving us and another day to praise you and listen to you, dear Lord. Please take care of us, uh, especially during these very stressful times. Help us to hold you even more closer to our heart. And please take care of us and guide us to live according to your word of God and read and study your word more and more. Help this podcast to be an encouragement for all, for all our life. In please, uh, please be with us, Lord. Thank you for listening to our prayers in the name of the Lord. Amen. Okay, so... This verse, so the Psalms chapter 1 verse 2, this verse is saying our happiness or delight should be in the law of God and we should meditate it every day and night. So how should I read Bible? Should I have to have a timetable or even, uh, uh, you know, that read every day and night or just, just enough to read every day and night or whenever I feel... Uh, I will say you should read the Bible like you are reading through, reading the air through the nose in every milliseconds. I will say that, not just day and night. I would say whenever it's possible, you should read day and night, but in a day and night, in a day, whenever it's possible, read that. So nowadays, if the there are a lot of uh, resources available to read the Bible, like uh, mobile. You can have a mobile Bible app or pocket Bible. You'll get very many size pocket Bible, which can be put in our uh, hand purse and iPads, laptops, wherever you are, you can keep the Bible or internet. If you don't want to mess up your uh, mobile with a lot of apps, you can just um, browse the internet and get the Bible and read. So nowadays there are a lot of resources available. So I would say make use of all of that. That is by reading every milliseconds. So we are so much into Bible, like even growing inside the Bible, making it, making the Bible look so beautiful than any other books we have. And sometimes we spend more time making it. The Bible looks more beautiful, and we forget to make our life to look beautiful and uh, I am not well don't take me wrong about journaling is uh, I'm not talking that I'm not against journaling okay journaling in the Bible I'm not against that I do enjoy watching all those drawings and stuff but I do not do and I am not against those I'm not saying that don't do that what I am saying is for however time how much time you are giving for just making the Bible to look beautiful give the exact same amount to study from the Bible also so um, 
and also nowadays everybody's like in bible it says do like that do like this jesus christ said us to do that do this and in our in reality in our own life we do not even possess as a point percentage of what we are saying our our it's everything through mouth nothing is going through the nose yeah so we should have how to possess a little bit of spirituality in our life okay why i say breathe through your nose it does have a metaphor effect i think you might have already guessed it yes it does have a metaphor effect over with the actual breathing so do you know the benefits of breathing through the nose so i am uh, i will share a few of those breathing through your nose is very unhealthy unless you have any nasal congestion of nasal issue and breathing through your mouth causes bad breath gum disease dryness in lungs and bronchial tubes and many other health effects and breathing through the nose helps to produce nitric oxide which improves your lungs ability to absorb oxygen nitric oxide increases the ability to transport oxygen through your body including inside your heart it relaxes vascular smooth muscles and allows blood vessels to dilate and nitric oxide is also antifungal, antiviral, antiparasitic, antibacterial. It has the immune system to fight infection. Wow, it looks like, excuse me, it looks like nose is the actual superhero among all of the body. <laughs> the nose acts as a filter and retains small particles in the air, including pollen to prevent from entering in our body. The nose adds moisture to the air to prevent dryness in the lungs and bronchial tubes. The nose warms up the cold air to body temperature before it even getting into our lungs. And nose breathing adds resistance to the air stream and this increases oxygen uptake by maintaining the lungs elasticity. And uh, it helps to breathing through the nose helps to maintain the lung volumes and also arterial oxygenation and definitely it's, doesn't it sound like superhero <laughs> i hope he feels like nose is the if if nose messed up we are, our body is completely messed up so totally that nose helps preventing almost all the bad small and bigger particles from outside to uh, getting it in, into inside the lungs and it keeps our lungs and bronchial tube moist and it literally helps our heart to uh, not to get sick and it got plenty of anti effects and it is it stands like a barrier so that's it it's a big thing okay and if we stop breathing we are dead we are done <laughs> that is why i took that breathing with uh, bible practice bible reading practice and breathe the word of god through your nose so that we will have a good immunity against all the bad things outside from the world from entering into us and we will produce a nitrous oxide that is spirituality uh, in inside us inside and outside us and it will act as immune system itself and it will supply the word of god to our heart to our blood vessels it means it will supply the word of god into our life and so that it also do not make uh, get sick in us so if if the sin gets into us it it's sick okay <laughs> so the if we read the bible properly like we breathe through the nose it is going to be a big good barrier and why we should read Bible every day or read like we should breathe, we are breathing through the nose. So turn with me uh, Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1, 2, 3. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1, 2, 3. Okay, where are you? Hebrews, come on, come on. <laughs> okay, I am turning the book now, uh, Bible now, okay. So and that's what it's going to be slow. And my Bible is full of papers. So it's very hard to turn. Okay, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners speak in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, 
hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the words, who being the brightness of his glory, and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Okay, so okay, uh, during old times, uh, to be precise, during the Old Testament times, God has talked to us directly through prophets and also directly. If you see the incidents, many incidents from the Old Testament, we can see many, um, like uh, Abraham, uh, what is that? Uh, Abraham, yeah, Abraham and David, God has talked to them directly and also there are many other incidents are also there. It was a direct communication that happened there and later then God sent his son to the world and through him he said many commandments we have to follow. He made a new, uh, through him he said the new worship method we should follow and all those are written in his, uh, in the Bible through his disciples and the through the chosen one and he also given us the salvation which is also been written in the bible and so god speaks us through the bible yeah only through the bible now nobody is appointed or nobody is god is not speaking to anyone yeah well god do speaks to us through bible thereby giving all the bible thoughts all the stuff that is there that is different uh, i mean the direct contact okay so to understand that and to walk in his way, we have to read and study the Bible daily. And Psalms 119, you know, the biggest chapter, is a good chapter to read, to learn more about this. So let me read few verses from the chapter. You can go read the whole 100, Psalms 119, the, the chapter Psalms, book of Psalms, chapter 119. You can go read completely. So I'm going to read a few verses from those chapters. So let's turn with me to Psalms 119, uh, verse 11. Oh my God, it's so hard to turn. Psalms 119, uh, verses, which one? verses 1 to 8, okay? Sorry, verses 1 to 8. Okay, I got it. I'm going to read it. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of God. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do not in quitty, they walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. O oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will praise thee with a brightness of heart when I shall have learned thy righteous judgments. I will keep thy statutes or forsake me not utterly. Okay. So if we read that one to eight, verse one to eight, blessed are the one who uh, undefiled in the way who walk in the law of God okay a blessed are the one who are undefiled in the way who walk who walk in the law of God and who keep his testimonies and seek him with the whole heart and do not inquity but walk in his ways and also who keep thy persons diligently so if if just see that it's not to keep However, we want it is to those who keep diligently. We have to keep his words diligently, okay? And also, I'm going to read Psalms 119, verse 11. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Yeah, why I should read the Bible? So that I should not sin. I should not sin against him. And also, um, And also it says, if I keep uh, his Bible verse or if I follow his Bible verse, I will not feel ashamed any time, anywhere. Okay, and also, it's also a kind of, look of the verse 5 to 8. It looked like a kind of prayer for me. So, 
uh, it, it, it says if we read Bible, we not feel ashamed, and our heart will be right. We will, we will walk in righteousness. All those stuffs. We can go read and study more that Bible verse, and we should not see. That is why we should follow the Bible, uh, Bible diligently. Okay, and also Psalms 119, one of five. His words show us the correct path. There are plenty, or you can go read that Bible verse as well, 119, chapter 119, verse 105. Okay, so it shows that uh, his word is going to show us the correct path. Okay, so there are plenty of Bible words which shows us why we should read the Bible or study the Bible. And also God asked us to keep reading this and dedicating ourselves with the word of God and walk in his ways. I will read another verse uh, regarding that. That is First Timothy verses, uh, sorry, First Timothy chapter 4. Oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Okay, first Timothy chapter four verse and second Timothy. Okay, take second Timothy. Okay, first with Timothy chapter four verse eight and nine first. Okay, we we'll, we'll read eight and nine first. For boldly exercise profiteth little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, have promise of the life that now is, and of that which is to come. This is a faithful saying, and worthy of all acceptation. So the word of God and godliness is for the life to live in the world presently, and very importantly, for the life that is about to come, and the promised land. And also we can read verse 12 to 16. 16, same chapter let no man despise thy youth but though but be though an example of the believers in word in conversation in charity in spirit in faith in purity till i come give attendance to reading to exhortation to doctrine neglect not the gift that is in thee which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the pers pers Victory. Oh my God, I am very poor and reading English. <laughs> so meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both say thyself and them that hear thee. So here he says that we should read the Bible until he comes. There are many other Bible verses which says exactly the same. That is, read continuously without stopping and share among each other, support each other. Also, like uh, it said here, meditate on these and share it with others. So anyone who hear, hear those can be saved and also you can also be saved. And, then, and like I said, if you stop breathing, we are dead for real, right? Same way, if you stop breathing the word of God, we are dead spiritually for sure. But and maybe there is no coming back who knows only a few lucky people come came back after stopped their breath if we are lucky enough we might come back to spirituality otherwise we are dead for sure the death here meaning is the the spiritual death and the death of the soul that is you will not get the life in the heaven that's what it says we never stop breathing through our nose even it's clogged we try and breathe through our nose like <sighs> right <laughs> same way never stop trying breathing the word of god keep reading the bible keep studying the bible keep applying those to our life and keep praying keep doing this every time even if our world of or our life is clogged with the struggles and troubles and pandemics or whatever keep reading those and keep trying to breathe and get rid of all those clogs and troubles that is coming to us not some pretending believer okay in bible it says we cannot serve two gods at a time that is matthew 6 24 and we cannot be a pretending believer either be a believer or be not a believer pretending is not going to harm anyone but you and also god definitely hate hate fakers psalms 119 verse 130 so should we need to have a timetable plans for much journaling or for studying the bible if you prefer definitely you can whatever you're doing what you have to do is read the bible 
understand the Bible, understand the word of God, get salvation, live according to the word of God. That is what it's primarily and only important things. Okay, and like the nose has that much of function, <laughs> not just taking it in the air, it also protects our lungs, with tight strap protects from dryness, having that anti-effects, help the heart and blood vessels and it completely stands like a guardian, right? Same way. Let your Bible be like a guardian from the sins. For the Bible to stand like a guardian, you need to read Bible and study Bible every day. Like every second we breathe the live air, every second breathe the live word of God. So, always remember, Read the word of God through your nose, not mouth. Like we never stop breathing through our nose every milliseconds. Breathe the word of God through the nose every milliseconds or else you might stop breathing and might even die. John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you and remember God is always with you and me all the time this is Elohim I mean podcast <laughs>